As most parents know, you have to be prepared for anything when it comes to unpredictable young children. And it seems the Princess of Wales is well aware of this, especially after seemingly finding herself in an unexpected situation with Princess Charlotte. Like many moms and dads before her, she was forced to take her daughter into a South London pub and make a relatable request. The pair had been traveling in a black Ranger over through London, and they pulled up outside the Phoenix pub in Stockwell and walked hand in hand into the outlet. Stunned customers saw the royal pair and couldn't believe how normal they were. A source writes that while they had been traveling through the capital when it seemed Charlotte told her mom she needed to use the toilet. Before Kate and Charlotte in the pub, a plainclothes woman believed to be a protection officer walked in and asked bar staff if the little girl could use the bathroom. Maggie McKinney, a regular at the pub, told me at the time I was sitting in my usual chair and when I looked up and saw Kate Middleton and her daughter, Princess Charlotte, the little kitty, just trotted in with her mom, went to the toilet, and then trotted out. They could not have been in the pub for more than ten minutes. It seemed very nice, normal. Princess Kate was holding her daughter's hand. Princess Charlotte was just any other little girl. Next week will be a special one for Charlotte and her brothers, Prince George and Prince Louis, as their school is on a half-term holiday. This means it's likely they will get to spend family time with their mom and dad, Prince William. The Wales family is preparing for their annual summer trip to Balmoral. It will be their first visit to the castle, since their great-grandmother, the Queen, passed away. This trip will have some key differences as William and Kate's family won't be sleeping at Balmoral itself and will instead stay in their private residence. The Wales have their property on site a cottage known as the Tom Nagar, which was gifted to Prince William by his late great-grandmother, the Queen's mother. Before she passed in 2002, the modest cottage only has three bedrooms with William and Kate choosing to keep the property extremely private, with very few images of their Scottish home on the 50,000-acre Balmoral estate, featuring 150 buildings in total. Tom Nagar is within proximity to Burke Hall, which is King Charles and Queen Camilla's residence on the Balmoral estate, where they spent some of the coronavirus pandemic. Balmoral Estate is nestled in the heart of the Scottish Highlands between Bodor and Braemar. It's located approximately 50 miles west of Aberdeen. 50,000 acre grounds have access to a wide array of breathtaking landscapes from the Dee River Valley to towering mountains and rolling green hills. Although they do have the help of a man, the royal couple is known to take part in fun activities, such as bike riding and baking with their kids. But it's not all fun and games for children. As William and Kate reportedly laid down some household rules at their home. And according to a source, this rule is one that they are strict about following. There is to be no shouting in the house. The insider told shouting is absolutely off limits for the children, and any hint of shouting at each other is dealt with by removal. But rather than be sent off to their bedrooms or to the naughty step when they act up, a royal couple has a different technique. In a sofa chat, source added the naughty child is taken away from the scene of the row or disruption and talked too calmly by either Kate or William things are explained and consequences outlined and they never shout at them.